Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another re review video. Um, today I want to talk about Jigsaw and the Saw franchise. Now, this looks freaking amazing in 4K. So, the Saw series is one of my all-time favorite series. And... Um, so, a lot of people classify this as horror and everything, but it's not really scary. It's more of a thriller and keeps you on the edge of your seat kind of thing. It's an intelligent series. It makes you think about things, and most of the time you have it completely wrong by the time it gets to the end and plays the Hello's Up um, theme music. Um, everything about the series is excellent. Um, each director has really brought their own taste to um, each movie individually, as well as continuing the story. Now, I really love this series because it's um, it progresses with each movie. Every single one of the movies adds a layer onto the series, um, story-wise. And, of course, it has a lot of traps and stuff like that in it. And it is famous for that. And um, Tobin Bell is an amazing actor. Um, yeah, it's an excellent series. And uh, so Jigsaw. I thought it was going to be completely different than it turned out to be. I was expecting it to be um, another copycat and all everything like that until I saw uh, Toby Tobin Bell, however you say it, his name, um, and then I was like, oh god, how are they going to add more with him but once you think that they can't add any more they do in a very intelligent way um and every every story with him is unique with it with him in it and um it's such a strong franchise and it can it can keep going and going um and uh, like the last one got, you know, mixed reviews and stuff, but all of them do. So I don't really pay attention to what critics have to say about anything because they also have mixed feelings about the Underworld franchise, and that's one of the best franchises out there. Um, stories that have progression with um, talented actors and with great pacing, great story, and everything. What is there to be mixed about? Nothing. Um, so, that being said, um, I was really nervous with Jigsaw being made because Saw, the last Saw, Saw 3D, um, ended the story but left it open. And I was interested to see how they would have continued that. But they went in a completely new direction. And they added um, more story to what was going on. And the people that you were rooting for in the movie really ended up being people that you're just like, Oh my god, they deserve everything that they got kind of thing. Um... And it's really unique because um, Jigsaw, the nickname of the killer, which he's not a killer, um, he really does give people a way out of the traps. Um, he makes them value their life because it's about a story of John Kramer who finds out that he has cancer and everything. And... <clears throat> Everything was going horribly wrong around the same time. We found out that he had cancer. His wife, who was running a clinic, ended up um, having a miscarriage because a junkie got into the clinic. 
and ended up slamming a door against her stomach and she had a, had a miscarriage. Like, everything that could go wrong did go wrong with John Kramer's life. Um, so he made people really appreciate their life and really fight for it if they really wanted it. Um, he's an extremely intelligent character. The music is phenomenal. Um, and, uh... He had backup plans to backup plans to backup plans. He had plans for days. And, um, he was so excellently acted. Like, um, I just, I just don't understand. It's crazy how intelligent the series is. And a lot of people will say that that's not the case, but that's because they're more, their thought process is more on the traps than the actual story. If they paid attention to the actual story versus the traps that happen to be part of the story, then they would see things differently. Because um, I know a lot of people that... Uh, tried to watch it and just couldn't watch it because of um, the traps and stuff. And I was like, well, did you pay attention at all to the story? I mean, the story keeps going. It's progressive. And it's an, a great one. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah, without giving anything away, I mean, it's crazy how far the series has come. And I'm really interested to see where it could go. Uh, I was curious to see where it would go with Jigsaw, and they did an excellent job with it. So I'm really excited about any future entries, if they do make any more. Hopefully they do, because it's, uh, it's a tradition to go see a Saw movie near Halloween. And so... But it was made with such great quality, and I really highly recommend the series. If you can get past all the torture and all that stuff, and all the traps, then you're in for a wild ride when it comes to the actual story. If you care about story, you'll love this. Um, characterization, uh, progression, that's why I really love this horror series. I mean, it's not horror, but it's classified as horror. Um... That's that's pretty pretty much why I really love it is because it's a continuous progressive story like the Scream series. It's progressive. It keeps going forward, um, and introduces new things and uh, you know, it's done intelligently, and <coughs> I really love that. Um, so the special effects are really great. The the traps are intelligent too. Not even just the story, but the the traps are really intelligently done. It makes you really think with the thought process behind the writers. Um, and I, I really love how I mean a lot of the people that are introduced that go through these traps and they've done bad things in their life and everything. They're really, really connected with each other. They're connected to the story in really strange, unique, and smart ways. And I really like that this series does that. It doesn't, you know, just kill its characters and then it's done with it. Or even just introduce these characters. They tell the story with these characters in each particular movie and then they die off and then they're not mentioned again. Some characters, a lot of them actually, have came back. There's been an explanation for everything. And, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And, um, especially with, like, the, the setup where it actually shows them setting up, like, the room in the first one. And, like, every detail... It is detailed, like down to the the very down to the last little particle of dust, is the same when they redid when it showed them doing uh, the construction of the room in the first one and everything. Um, it's insane. 
it's insane how detailed it is story-wise and otherwise so if you haven't seen it check it out um let me know what you think about them down in the comments please not too many spoilers for those who haven't seen it that may be interested or curious that want to see it so I'm not a very big spoiler kind of person. I don't like spoilers. I want to be, I want that shock value, that shock factor. Um, so, um, if you like my reviews on the, the Jigsaw and the Saw series, just comment below, like, subscribe, and until next time, guys, have a great day.